Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another Sunday video. In this one, my friends, we're gonna be testing the Intel UHD 630, which I cannot really show it to you because, um, well, it's integrated in the CPU that we have inside of this motherboard. Oh, oh, oh! Let's start off with the most useful test, uh, the music test, okay? So... Anyways, jokes aside, this iGPU is actually present in a lot of CPUs from the 10th generation of Intel CPUs. The one that I have here is integrated in the i5-10600K, which I bought for 125 euros here in Portugal with three years of warranty, because it was in CEX, and uh, well, we're pairing it with an H510 motherboard, okay? This was provided uh, by AFOX here, as you can see, actually I'm gonna show you a closer look look at the box uh, and the motherboard as well. But thank you to AFOX for sending this motherboard in. It actually works pretty well, it's just a basic motherboard, but it can hold up to 125 watt CPUs, which is great, and it has no problems handling this 10600K. And although we can't really overclock it, this CPU was only 10 bucks more expensive than the 10400, so I went with it instead. Now, something you can see is the RAM. We're using 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 2400 megahertz. Unfortunately, I couldn't really boost it up from those frequencies, uh, but it is possible. And it's running in dual channel, of course. We're also utilizing the Hyper 212 LED CPU cooler to cool down that 125 watt beast, six cores with 12 threads. And if you're interested in the ports of this motherboard, this is it. Plenty of ports there. Let's get this installed in an actual PC case with a power supply and an SSD and let's play some games on it, shall we? And it's desktop time, let's go over the specs real quick here, i5 10600K, 125 watts of power, I'm not sure why I keep mentioning that, 6 cores and 12 threads, uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, dual channel, 2400 megahertz, it's always double of what is shown there, and in GPU-Z you can check out, of course, the GPU specs, it has 24 shaders, which is lower than I expected actually. <laughs> Uh, it runs DDR4 as its memory, it's actually the RAM being utilized as VRAM, so it will utilize whatever it wants, that's why it doesn't say any specific uh, amount there, and we're running the latest drivers available to it at the moment. And the first game in the list is Red Dead Redemption 2, probably not a very good game to try with Intel HD graphics, but let's go. 720p resolution, lowest settings possible, because, well, again, it's Intel HD, well, UHD. HD graphics. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, all right, all right, it was just loading things slowly. Okay, it's everything is fine, we got Roach here with us, so, so it's great. This is terrible, it is exactly what I expected actually. <laughs> I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2, super intensive game, 15 FPS sounds right, right? <laughs> it actually sounded right because I said right twice, right? Right, right, no. Hello buddy, how's it going? Jump to wagon, yes, that's exactly what I want to do in just a little bit, come on. Let's go, Roach. Let's go, Roach, we got this. No, I couldn't do it, I could, ah. Oh. Come on, Roach, let's go. Let's jump. This measure, okay, there we go. Good job, get out of here, boy. <laughs> now we got a chariot, that's beautiful. Vehicle theft. We're playing Grand Theft Auto now, guys. <laughs> Actually, I can't wait to play Grand Theft Auto. That, that should be playable here. <laughs> should we test it out using half resolution? Because we can actually do that. So it's set to 50% now, which means that we're actually rendering the game at 360p resolution. Oh boy, it looks terrible. And uh, well, it, it's good for 20 FPS at least not the, the worst thing in the world and I, I actually thought that we couldn't count our FPS because it wasn't working for a bit there but now it works. What the hell is this? Oh I thought the, the trees were bugged or something but no it's, it's supposed to look like that. Oh my god! Oh my god! I am so sorry! I am so sorry Roach's friend! Everything is fine, let's go to the alligators, so we, they can have a good meal. You now we got some oranges there at, at the back, so I, I guess alligators do like oranges, right? No? Okay, not again. <laughs> Happens every single day, right, Arthur? Alright, the alligators are here. 
Have a nice meal, buddies. Okay, thankfully, the second game is a game that actually runs really well here. <laughs> this is Valorant, and I am so glad I am seeing 100 FPS there. Like, that's actually insane. So, it's 1080p resolution, and we're using the low settings. That's how you should play with Intel UHD graphics. But these FPS are actually insane. Although, they actually drop. Just started, guys. And there is one here. I knew it. I saw him in the map because this game is kind of dumb and <laughs> it shows the enemies in the map. Actually, no, that's, that's very smart because then they can't really camp around, you know? I hate camping bastards. Be careful this time. That's my only objective, basically. <laughs> Get to that area and see the FPS there. Uh, so we can see worst case scenario. It fluctuates. God damn it. That's a nice shot, by the way. Oh, we're really close now. This is a, this this fluctuates a lot, as I was saying. Uh, it drops... Ooh, 60s. Doesn't drop from 60, apparently. Maybe if you threw, like, a smoke or something like that here in this area, it would drop, though. And you can definitely notice some input lag whenever it gets close to 60 FPS, honestly. But it's not bad. For Intel UHD graphics, it's... It's incredible that it's above 60 FPS all of the time. Whenever it drops into the 60s, it just slows down. You can definitely feel the slowdown. And I'm playing this at 60 Hertz, and I can still feel the slowdown. So it doesn't only happen if you have a high refresh rate monitor, okay? Input lag works in mysterious ways. Oh my god, I still killed the other one. That's nice. Uh, there's one here. No, not from behind, please. Come on. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let me grab that health. Thank you. These guys are not really that good. Yeah. That's why the first guy is first place, because he's, he's terrible, obviously. I'm just... I'm not first place, because um, I get drops to 60 FPS. How the heck was that a headshot? <laughs> oh, ho, 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 finally, I got the first guy. Second guy. Okay, it's the second guy. I am the first guy. All right. Come on, come on, almost dead. Oh my god! Uh oh. Uh oh no! I knew it! The bastard! Five kills remaining. Oh, that was close. Taken down. One kill remaining. Yeah, boy! Never had a doubt. Not my proudest moment. <laughs> now we're playing PUBG. I don't have very fond memories of playing this with Intel HD 520. I remember it. It was awful. 720p using 50% render scaling. I said it in the config files, but it doesn't show up because 70 is the minimum in game. Very low settings here. All right, this is the new map. By the way, I've never played this. I don't know if this is an intensive area. But this is, this is, it's terrible, but it is way better than the HD 520. The HD 520 uh, was getting so much input lag that I used to do this in my face, actually, with the mouse. And it would keep going for like five seconds after I was done with it. So, yeah, this doesn't really have a lot of input lag, which is great. What the heck is that at the distance there? It looks like roach, kind of. Oh, no. The worst part is this area of the map kind of reminds me of Brokenfield 2042 and I, I keep forgetting that that game exists and when I remember that it does, I just get sad. You know what, at least it gets 30 something FPS down here, which is not god awful, right? It kind of is given the circumstances, the graphics look terrible, but yeah, it could be worse. I actually thought it would be worse, so there's that. Now my question to you guys is, would you actually play this game like this? I, I wonder if there is somebody out there willing to play this at 360p <laughs> using 30 or getting 30 something FPS. <laughs> oh no, oh no, this sucks. I don't even know where the guy is. Let's just go away. Go away, maybe he's camping on the rooftop or something. All right, we're good. We're good, though. Oh, yes, we managed to survive that somehow. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to survive the car ride because it's me who's driving. <laughs> but, uh, well, no, no, 26 there. Oh, oh. You know what? To play like this, I would just install it on my phone and play it there, honestly. I don't think this is worth installing with this iGPU, guys. Really, it's, it's, it sucks, basically. Ooh, can we actually make a jump or something? Oh, yes, and now we're gonna die. 
<laughs> Almost. <laughs> this one is gonna be good. It's GTA 5 720p using lowest settings once again, but I didn't disable the shadows in the config files as I usually do for integrated graphics. Well, some of them, you know, the, the older ones. As you can see, this is quite nice. It is faster than a GT 710, if you're wondering. <laughs> and that's the most important benchmark of all, of course. It's actually really close to the GDDR5 or the one gig GDDR5 model of the 710 that I tested a few months ago. And even the DDR3 version of the 710 can actually play this game absolutely fine. It's an enjoyable experience here, guys. Also, zero stuttering issues, which is great to see and uh, that's because we're not running out of vram of course because well ram is vram in this system ah this is happening a lot lately <laughs> these crashes well this is a fine car and now it's mine because i painted it with my own blood that's how it works guys okay get the heck out of here do you really want to do this do you really want to do this? What he wanted to do was paint the car with his blood again, but of course I wouldn't allow it. <laughs> uh, no, it's still my blood there. At least most of it is my blood, so it's not that guy's car anyways. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, people, oh boy. Oh, now we can actually debate whether or not this car is mine. You know what, one of these days we should try to paint the car in red, only with blood. We should like grab a white car and uh, go at it. <laughs> yeah, that's an idea for the next GTA video. Let's go though, this is not intensive here because there is no grass basically, we disabled it by putting it on normal. Hi Jack! Talk to me buddy! Hello? Stop ignoring me! Jack, please! the heck? Why are you so silent today? Ah, there we go. Love you too. It's hard to say that for you, isn't it? Jesus. Anyways, let's see inside of the bushes here. Doesn't drop too much. Only into the 30s. This is a very reasonable experience for Intel UHD graphics, honestly. Goodbye, Bob! Now, it's Dota 2, a very adequate game for something like this. 1080p using lowest settings, anti-aliasing is enabled, so we can use FSR here. It's actually set to 75% resolution, and we are watching a game here. So, a little bit of a fight here and here. Let's see, some effects. It's not really dropping all that much. And honestly, FSR is looking pretty good here in Dota 2. Rubik, you are screwed, buddy. Goodbye, or not, actually. Kind of stutters a little bit when the action heats up, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. He actually made it. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> all right. Kind of, yeah, it feels stuttery. Although the frame time graph is stable, it's just... Whenever I'm panning the, the camera around, it feels like it's stuttering, right? Uh, the good thing is, for this game to be playable, you only need the mouse to be at good FPS, and that's stable, so... Yeah, you could, like, control everything with your mouse, honestly. But, well, you get the point, right? It's not a first-person shooter, so you don't really need a lot of consistency, I would say. I'm just gonna see if it's FSR causing that sort of stuttering problem or whatever. Because sometimes you can actually disable anti-aliasing and set it to 100% and get more FPS. That's the case! See? FSR in some graphics cards, lower end stuff basically, will actually impact performance even if you're not playing at native resolution. We were at 75% 1080p. It's interesting because the last time that I tested Dota 2, a lot of people told me to enable FSR because it gets a lot more FPS in lower end stuff. But that's not the case whatsoever. All right, team fight still drops a lot though. Kind of the same actually whenever team fights are happening, but it feels a little bit more stable, I, I would say. Not major issues in terms of stuttering or perceived stuttering, I guess. You know what I really missed, guys? Playing Cyberbug 2077 with a lower end GPU. It's, it's always such an incredible experience. Not really, it's, it sucks. Uh, so low settings here, lowest everything. We're not using FSR at the moment and we're playing at 720p resolution. These are the settings here. It is absolutely terrible. I can barely control the car, but at least we can actually do what I was looking to do and what I really missed. And that is kill. The damn Bobo, look! 
it. There we go, Bob. Did you like that? Did oh boy. All right. He's still stuck there. Okay. He's sitting on my car. What the heck? Bob! Bob! Stop moving! Oh my god, you know what? You we really need to enable some FSI. What is he doing? Some gymnastics. Holy crap! He is resurrecting! What the hell, Bob? I told you he was Jesus. <laughs> anyway, we, we really need to enable some FSR on ultra performance right away. Yeah? Oh, it looks so terrible, but it increases our FPS by a lot, and now we're in the 20s. And 20s, 25 is way more reasonable than uh, 13 FPS. That, that's way better. You tell me down in the comments below, is this and PUBG playable to you? Because I really don't feel like it is. If you guys think so, I might actually do a walkthrough of this at these insanely low resolutions. Is it something that you guys would want to watch? I really wouldn't. I'm not even sure why I'm asking that. <laughs> like, who the heck wants to watch a video with this quality? Anyway, let's uh, let's quit this. This is totally stupid. <laughs> Next up is CSGO, and in true CSGO fashion, the sound doesn't work. Like, I restarted the game, I restarted the PC, I restarted the capture card, I restarted the recording PC. Sound is not working in this game only. It's just... CSGO things. 720p resolution <laughs> using low settings here. Come on. For some reason, guys, in CSGO and only in CSGO, every time I play it with Intel integrated graphics, only Intel integrated graphics as well, okay, why did I switch to the knife? Uh, it, it dims the display a little bit. Like, it's not as bright as in other games for some reason. It's really weird. <laughs> Sound does make a huge difference in CSGO. Bigger difference than you'd think. It's stuttering a lot as well. Somebody told me the last time when I tested Intel XC graphics that the game stuttered because of the texture streaming budget or whatever it will texture streaming option enabled, you know. So I disabled it today to see if it was that. But no, uh, it seems like it's still very stuttery, unfortunately. Like, look at this. It literally stops. This is exactly what we've seen with Intel XC graphics uh, when I played CSGO on it. Even Cyberpunk actually had better frame times than this, I guess. We, we, like, we, we didn't see 7 FPS 1% lows in Cyberbug, right? The fact that I am in first place right now means that you, you can actually play like this. It's just just gonna be infuriating whenever you die because you had a massive stutter out of nowhere you know but right now it's it seems like it's smoothing out a little bit maybe it's just because it was loading or something i don't know i was gonna knife this guy but i will respect the afk okay the 14 year old talent eric he didn't respect him that's why he's not gonna be a competitive player in csgo or a, a pro player you know you know what, guys? It actually smoothed out a little bit. Not bad now. It's not having those massive stutters. Maybe it was actually still loading something at the beginning of the match. So just keep that in mind. Maybe if you want to play this game... Oh, th there goes an AFK guy. That's probably why I'm gonna die next. Uh, see? See? I missed that because I killed the AFK guy. At the end of it, we did not get first place. But that's because Eric, 14-year-old Eric, he actually cheated. Obviously, like he killed the AFK guys, I did it. Now it's Elden Ring at 800 by 450 resolution and windowed mode using the low settings. Uh, actually, what is this doing on high? Ooh, that is absolutely awful. Oh, it is completely unplayable. You actually do need some quick-ish reactions here in Elden Ring. Uh, however, they actually might also be playing this game in slow motion. I, I'm still not sure, honestly. There is tons of input lag, by the way. Okay, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Roach! Roach, I need you, buddy! Get over here. What the heck is this? Unsuitable for online play. Oh, of course, because whenever the FPS are too low, the game just kicks you out of it. <laughs> well, we're getting into it again, but now it's not in online mode. But it's exactly the same thing, as you can see. Maybe getting slightly higher? No, it's it's the same. Yep, 10 FPS there. I really want Roach. Roach, I need you, buddy. I need you. It's R, of course. I was pressing X. We can at least kill one of them, right? Let's go. Let's try this out. Come on, this one. This one. Let's go. Yes, I think we did it. I think we did it. 
Yep, he's dead, guys. He's dead, and so am I. Now it's stutter night at 720p using lowest settings and performance mode, and it's actually surprisingly decent. At least down there it was surprisingly decent. Right now it's 50 FPS, but it could be worse. What the hell is that? <laughs> Whoa, that is interesting. Oh my god, tons of stuttering while dropping. Jesus. Okay, so I was thinking it would get higher FPS. Not gonna lie, 20s and 30s, that's kind of bad come on come on come on come on almost almost let's get him oh nice thank you so much <laughs> yeah i guess it was just loading some things when it was getting 20 or 30 frames per second because now it's it's okay it's not completely awful you know oh this is so accurate actually how is this a gray weapon wow that's insane, it's my favorite weapon now. I see what's going on now, we're looking at the entire sanctuary area from above and it drops immensely. I guess it just can't really handle a lot of trees at once at, in the screen, you know, because looking in this direction, it's not as bad. Maybe it is. <laughs> no copyrighted music here, please. Shut the heck up. Oh, 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 thought it was a bot for a second, actually, because the way he was moving at first, but he's not a bot. All right, he's putting up a little bit of a fight. I like it, I like it. Did he teleport or something? Is he here? Yes, he's still here. Ah! <laughs> he was confused, actually. Let's play some Rust now at 720p resolution using the lowest settings with 0.8 render scale, which means that it's 80% of 720p, actually, and it seems like it's gonna be playable, so far at least. Now, I actually expect it to start stuttering a lot in just a little bit, because as you can see, the RAM is fully maxed out. It's completely, like... It, it has nothing left in the tank, basically. It's using 15.5 gigabytes of RAM as actual RAM and 500 or 600 megabytes as VRAM. So there's nothing left. It's fully saturated. We're actually starting to utilize some memory off of the SSD as page file, you know? And that's kind of not a good thing, honestly, because you will utilize a lot of cycles on that SSD and it can actually fail much sooner than expected. If you have specs like these or even an i3 10th gen with Intel UHD graphics, you should grab a better GPU and actually play it properly because these are strong CPUs um, overall. Even the i3 is strong enough to handle like an RX 570, for example, and that would give you 60 FPS at like medium to high settings in this game. Much, much better experience. I just noticed that this is a Spanish server and I will go to Spain next week, guys. So if you guys are in a Seville, just shout me out. <laughs> we can actually go drink a beer or something. <laughs> also, because I will be on vacation, I'm still not sure if I will have enough videos for the entire week. I have one scheduled so far. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's been very hard to uh, make videos <laughs> these last few days because it's too damn hot. But anyway, oh, that's Roach. Roach, hello, buddy. How's it going? Oh, so nice to see you here. Can I throw you some burger? Do you like burgers, buddy? Let's see. No, it just... No reaction. And now it's Apex Legends and we're playing it at 800 by 600, not at this resolution. I set it in the launch options and the lowest settings, of course, as usual. <laughs> uh, let's drop into waterfall area. For some reason, I just want to go straight up for the most intensive area in the map. <laughs> And it's not dropping from 30 FPS. There are GPUs that are much stronger than this that actually do drop from 30 FPS in this area. Only here, by the way. I don't know what, what magic is this, but the UAG 630 can actually handle the waterfall just fine. I have never seen that before. <laughs> All right, 60s around here, that's actually super impressive for what this is. It's nowhere near like Intel XE graphics performance here in this game that can get like 60 FPS at 720p, but it's impressive actually. It's playable-ish. It's not for a competitive person obviously and you will be at a massive disadvantage if you play Apex with these FPS because there are people out there playing at like 
300 hertz and stuff like that so yeah <laughs> it's hard to compete like that you can still run around learn the game learn the basics have a little bit of fun with some friends i guess sometimes oh and die a lot okay well we actually got one there that was nice Whoa, i'm gonna die yes all right <laughs> oh hello there widow maker looking nice today let's go this is overwatch now can i go to this options please 720p resolution using low settings 100 percent resolution scale where are the enemies there they are oh it's getting really slow here nope i don't like that too much but it's still playable for overwatch i guess oh come on where 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 where, where, where? stop oh oh i killed myself but i killed her as well that's okay <laughs> May is still alive. How come May is still alive? Let's go. Let's go. We got her. All right. All good. Oh, and there's a, there's a Mercy. Is this a Mercy? No? No, it's not a Mercy. <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long that uh, I, I don't even know that character there, guys. Honestly. All right. I'm playing the game here. Thank God the game gave me uh, Soldier 76. I actually know how to play with it. It's just point and shoot, basically. All right. Come on. Let's go, guys. Punch him! Punch him in the face! Or not. Do this. No, can we trade, buddy? I, I don't really like this one. Okay, well, now we're screwed. They still got the shields and the turrets. Ah, the game is just kind for, to, to the enemy team and not to us. Oh, what the heck am I even doing? <laughs> maybe, maybe our team is just made of crisps. And they suck, like me. Because every crisp sucks in Overwatch. I wish Digimon was here to play this game, actually, yes. And I guess this is the kind of game that you should play with something like this. You're going to have fun and uh, it's still pretty enjoyable. And you're not going to be at a massive disadvantage. You can still point and shoot. You don't even need to be very accurate with a lot of the uh, characters here, the heroes, whatever. Yeah, it's playable. We're playing Forza Horizon 5 now at 720p using the very low settings and we're actually utilizing resolution scaling here set to quality as well. So it kind of looks pretty bad, but it, at least it's getting 30 something. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Like, there is a huge shadow <laughs> over here. Look at that. What the hell? Okay, well... um. <laughs> Let's just go to the big city and see how it plays there. So far, it's it's not awful. Maybe it's actually playable with like 25 FPS and up. I don't know, but it's a car game, so I could see myself playing like this. I've played a lot of games back in the days, like Need for Speed Most Wanted, for example, at 25 FPS locked, and it was playable. I had a good time with it anyways, so I, I could actually have a good time here, but I, I don't feel like you should buy this game if you have Intel UHD 630, just because, well, it, it looks terrible <laughs> like this. It's running at around like uh, 540p or something like that, and it's super pixelated. Very low settings look terrible in Forza Horizon 5. It looks worse than a mobile game at this point. Little drift or great drift there. Awesome drift. Amazing, friends. Amazing. What is not amazing is the performance and the graphics. I... I don't know what to tell you anymore, this is awful. <laughs> it even drops from like 25, so even if you lock the FPS to 25, it would still be terrible. <laughs> and it has the shadow bugs as well, so... Ah, it's just... Oh my gosh. Getting out of the tunnel, most intensive thing, 20 FPS there. Well, again, I ask you, is it playable to you? I don't think so, but it might be for somebody out there. And finally, the last game is Minecraft Java Edition. We're running the latest version, 1.19, without any mods, so we're not using Optifine in this one, and we're using these settings. 1080p resolution, 8 chunks of render distance, and this is actually pretty impressive, guys. GPU usage is not maxed out. I actually expected it to be, because we're running a 10600K at stock speeds, but it's still pretty pretty fast, you know, uh, but yeah, not enough to keep up with the UHD 630 in this game. But that doesn't really matter too much because it is a playable experience. As you can see, it doesn't really stutter too much. Of course, Minecraft usually stutters a little bit in every system because it needs to render in the new chunks and everything. But this is pretty playable. <laughs> what the heck is that noise? Oh, there's a creeper here. 
And some zombies, icy zombies. Oh, it doesn't explode in creative mode. Interesting. Um, anyways, as I was saying, if you're only playing survival mode instead of uh, creative, it's not gonna stutter as much because you're gonna walk a bit slower. You're not gonna fly around everywhere, and things have more time to load properly without stuttering. That said, even when flying around, it's not terrible, guys. Forest areas are really intensive in this game. Jungle areas are a bit more intensive but it shouldn't really drop into the 60s even or from 60 fps when playing minecraft with the uhd 630 at least using this cpu and it is conclusion time so the intel uhd 630 it is bad but it's not that bad it's not like this terrible thing that can't run any single game out there that title belongs to the gt710 <laughs> <laughs> not really, not really. That It belongs to like the G100. But you know what? You should also not be using this for gaming. Even though it can play a lot of games, especially older ones that we haven't even tested, like Skyrim and Team Fortress 2 come to mind. I think you should definitely upgrade your GPU if you're running this. Because chances are, if you have a desktop PC with Intel UHD 630, you at least have an i3 10th gen or maybe Pentium Gold or something like that. And even the Pentium can actually play a lot of these games much better when paired with like an RX 570. So now that GPU prices are finally coming down, I think it's time for you to upgrade. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll hopefully see you guys soon-ish. Love you all. Bye-bye.